Right, hello everybody, welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to another vlog here on the farm. As you can see, uh, we are just waiting for the store to open now. It's now open, so it's 8am on the dot. It should be anyway, let's have a look at the old watch here. Yeah, 8am on the dot. So, um, well, welcome back. So, it's been a little bit of a break since the last video. Uh, and that's because we've been doing some work on the farm. You'll see that later on. We've added a, another shed up there. Um, right, let's go ahead and get the John Deere turned off. So, we've now also got uh, another loan taken out here. So our loan's got a little bit bigger, but because we're buying a couple things today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hop out the John Deere. Let's go in there, speak to the, uh, the shop here and see if they've got our stuff in stock. Right, okay, everybody. So we have gone ahead and got ourselves a... Quad bike. Now it's brand new. It's not a brand. It's a cheap Chinese one. Uh, we got it through the shop here. They've uh, hooked us up with this one. But yeah, cheap Chinese one. It should do the job nice. Like I said, it's brand new. Uh, but we also have bought ourselves some second-hand equipment as well. So we've got this little uh, majiggy here. This is called the Asaria Scout, and this is basically going to help us um, sample our soil to make sure if it's good, see if it's too high in pH or not enough pH. Um, so hopefully this will give us a bigger yield on our crops if we uh, do it correctly. So, yeah, this one's like I said, second hand. We managed to pick this up for 11 and a half grand. Um, it looks a little bit rough. We need some paint and stuff around here. Um, but it should do the job, at least. Now, here's where things get a bit different. And hopefully the quad bike's not too low. Let it warm up here. So, like I said, it's a cheap Chinese one, unbranded. But it should help us enough here today. But we've also had some customizing done to it. So, we've welded on the side. And when I say we, I mean... Derek at the shop here, he's welded on a hitch to the side. Now the reason for this is I want to put this on the quad bike. So if I put it on the back, it'll be too much weight on the back and we're going to start wheeling the quad bike everywhere, which of course we're not going to want to do without any steering and it's just dangerous. So by putting this and all the weight on the side of the quad bike, we should be good. So let's go ahead and jump onto the quad bike real quick. Let's get this uh, parked into position here. Right, so if I get close enough. Right, so let's go ahead and get this hitched up here now. Now, obviously, there's nothing else to connect. There's no lights or anything on this that we need to connect. Uh, we will need to plug this in when we're going to use it. Uh, but for now, we should be fine. So it's slanting a little bit on, if you're looking at the quad bike, it's slanting on the left side, of course. We've got a bit of weight on that now, but at least we're not going to be wheeling everywhere. Right, okay, so we're just coming out of the workshop again. Um, we've actually gone ahead and also move the hitch to the rear now so we are still going with our original plan it's just uh, we're also for transporting having a rear hitch as well now so right, let's go up again real quick see if we can get up here Ooh, a bit of a wheelie but we've managed to get up right so i should explain what was actually going on there is me being an idiot so let's go ahead and get the parking brake on here we'll get the quad bike turned off and we'll hop off so We've also got a hitch on the rear that we're going to be using, so it, it was a little bit too wide to get on, that was the issue. I was actually clipping that uh, pillar there, I wasn't looking behind me, I was too busy sorting out the camera. Um, so yeah, we've got it on the back for now, when we get back to the farm, we'll put it back onto the side. Uh, to be fair, it's not wheeling too bad, there's a bit of light steering with it on the back there, so we're still going to move it on the side. Um, but yeah, for now that should be fine. Let's jump back into the John Deere. We've missed, I think, the Land Rover's over there still. Um, still haven't got to the bottom of what's causing that, they believe. It's a uh, carburetor issue, so hopefully it is. Right. Let's get these ramps put up and the door closed away. Awesome stuff. Right. Beacon lights are still on. I can see it reflecting off the case there. Right, so what we're going to do is head back to the farm and I'll meet you guys there. Right, okay, everybody. So we are now on the road on our quad bike. Oh, there's a big lorry coming. I want to stop there. Is there anything from behind us? No, we're good. Okay, let's get this gate open real quick. So this is one of our uh, arable fields. We will be doing the grass fields as well, but today we're going to really concentrate on the uh, the grass fields. Oh, by the way, I was going to show you my shed. You can just see the top of it there. The, the, well, not the top of it. You can actually see half of it. That big silver shed there, that is um, where we're storing our pallets now. So let's go ahead and get the indicators off here. Right, so I'm actually going to put a overlay on the GoPro for you guys now, which is going to be our PDA. So you can see whereabouts on the sat nav we're actually sampling. So let's go ahead and go about here for the first one. Let's get the drone out so you guys can watch what we're doing. Right, so we'll take our first sample. It's very loud. Of course, we're a sound of quad bike, so we've got no shielding from the sound, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be too bad. 
We're going to head over to this side of the field right now. There is no GoPro, uh, POV GoPro right now because, of course, I'm not using a wheel. I'm using handlebars. All right, let's go ahead and get this lowered down like so. So basically, if you don't know what's going to happen, we're going to get this sent off to a lab. They'll get back to us and say uh, roughly how much our pH and stuff is. We'll do one here, why not? Let's head over this way. So yeah, basically what you guys are watching is the PDA on uh, my phone, which is showing us where we need to be and where we need to go. Let's get that turned on like so. But we're nearly finished here. So we have two arable fields, what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so what I was going to say is we're going to get this sent over to the lab. They'll get back to us and let us know what needs doing and stuff like that. Um, let's do a little bit more over this corner over here. About here, I reckon. Cool. So I think we're done here. There's a little bit, according to the PDA, there's a little bit that we've missed here. But I don't think it's going to matter too much. It won't be too different to the rest of it. Uh, right. Go back to POV here. So I've got one more field. I'm going to head over and do this field. And I'll catch up with you guys when we are done. Currently, so our samples are now done. I'll get them sent off to the lab later on. I'm just going to quickly drive over to the corner of the field to show you. We've got these little uh, GPS things here that we have installed. Now, these are... Well, it says by John Deere. It's probably not by John Deere. Let's face it. They probably just put their badging on it. Um, but this will basically triangulate... Um, the GPS for all of our workers if we have any. Uh, of course at the moment we only have myself and Billy Bob but yeah it should help. We also have a little building on the other side of the farm with the same sort of technology so yeah hopefully this all pays off in the future. Um, but I'm going to head back to the farmhouse right now so what we're going to do now is wait a few hours we'll get our sample sent over to us by the lab. Um, so luckily the lab's right here in this village, so we don't have to wait too long. So we hopefully we'll be doing it by the evening now. So let's go ahead and park this quad bike for now in here. Is this going to go in with the little machine on the back? Yes, it is. Cool. Right, let's get the quad bike turned off here. Yeah, loads of room. I was worried about that, the uh, height on that, but it seemed to be good. Actually, use these little cubicles. We've got our put, uh, zero turn mower here and our quad bike in this one. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some breakfast. And, uh, does this open? We'll go ahead and get some breakfast. And, uh, hopefully live get back to us soon. Right, everybody, so we are back at the farm now. It's been a few hours, uh, since we had our breakfast. So it's about 11 o'clock now-ish. This is the new build. Now, sorry about the new shed we had, uh, built. We're actually going to go ahead and open. Electronic door, which is fancy. Right, let's go ahead and pull out some lime here real quick. Right, okay, so we have our lime bags out here. Let's go ahead and pick one up here. We're going to do one at a time. So I'm actually going to show you what equipment we're using today. We actually have a spreader on tryout here. We have it on lease. Um, if we like one, we'll buy one. So we managed to actually rent this for, I think it was about £800. There it is. The Breadle or Breedal. Never actually know how to say that. Is it Breadle or Bridal? Bridal? Breedal? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, right, let's go ahead and get this extended out here real quick. Oh, a little bit higher. There we go. Let's get that loaded in. So yeah, probably going to do two of these to begin with. We only have two fields. There should be enough. There we go. This one gone completely. Let's get the boom put back in. Let's get another one. We, yeah, I've got all four of them out here that we have currently in stock. But I'm only going to use two at a time, I think. So just to let you guys know what I've got coming up in a different vlog soon. So I've actually got some builders coming around to quote something. Um, I'm in speak with the council here. Um, there's a bit of land going nearby, which we might be able to get dirt cheap. Now, there is a bit of a small print to this. Um, there are some, let's just say, some ruins that we might have to get rid of ourselves. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of a job. That clip the top there. I'm actually going to get this raised up a little bit here. Let's 
get the uh, Merlot turned off. And let's jump in to the John Deere. Right, I've just climbed on the wheel here. Um, what'd you say? It's quarter full. We're not even past the mesh yet, so hopefully it's going to be enough. Like I said, we've got two more bags over there that we can use if we need to. But I also don't want to uh, waste it. So let's go ahead and get the John Deere turned back on. I'm not going to get the cover put on. Now, one thing I am debating is whether to use uh, the Green Star to do this, to save up on some fertilizer. I don't think I'm going to. Um, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Bit of a pain to set up just for probably three passes at tops. Right, let's go ahead and head out of this gate here. Let's get our uh, beacon lights on. That was our indicator. Well done, simulate. So I'm just going to get four-wheel drive on for this. We did have some rain last night, so this mud is a little bit slushy. Let's get our beacon lights off. I'm going to go ahead and close the gate real quick. Actually, I just put the beacon lights back on again. I double pressed the button. It's only me. Let's get that closed. Right, so what I'm going to do is get the drone out for this. So you guys can see what's going on. Let's get the uh, beacon lights off. We do not need them here. Actually, one thing I haven't actually done just yet is put the PTO in. Oh, I did put the PTO in. Okay, just make sure everyone is in for sure. We're good. All right, let's get the drone up in the air, and uh, we'll get this first layer down. Okay, so we have now finished that field. It's a little bit wobbly. It turns out controlling a drone, steering a tractor, and controlling the spreader on the back to make sure we're giving out enough uh, or the correct amount of lime is pretty hard to do with just two hands. So I think I am going to use Green Star in this field here just to save us some time. But I am going to go ahead and leave the vlog here because one thing I'm going to start doing is making them a bit shorter, uh, these vlogs, just so you guys don't get too bored and then I can actually push more out um, so you guys got more to watch in the long run. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. All I'm going to do with this food is exactly the same. Uh, we're going to get a couple more bags of lime into the back of the spreader. I'm actually going to head to set up the green star for this, so we don't waste lime like we did in the last field. Um, I need to get a bit better at controlling the spreader, the drone, and the tractor all at the same time. Maybe I can get uh, another hired worker, another worker here, I should say, to maybe even if it's like simple at con uh, controlling the drone. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and leave it here. So thank you very much for joining me in this vlog. If you did enjoy, please tap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Remember, we have some big videos coming in the next few uh, days. That's going to be where we're going to go speak to the council. We're going to look at some, buying some land. We're going to actually make a start on setting up our lawn care business properly. So yeah, once again, hit subscribe if you want more from myself. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. I've been Simulate, and I'll see you in the next one.